In this video, we'll take a look at implementing an API key as part of our connection and credential library. As in the basic auth video, we'll start by going to connections and credentials, connections and credential alias to create a new alias. We give it a name and save. In the connections related list, we'll create a new connection. We'll give this a similar name and identify the connection URL, often referred to as an endpoint. Let's save our work on the connection so far. In the credential field, we'll click the magnifying glass to bring up a list of available credentials. If we had entered a credential for this service before, we could pick it from the list. But since we haven't, we'll click New. The system presents a list of credential types, so we'll pick API key credentials. Again, we'll give our credential a name that represents what we are authenticating to. And paste in the API key we got from our service provider or application admin. Save the record, and done. This alias is available for building a number of integrations. We'll look at the details of how that's done in a later video. For now, let's take a look at the next video to see a more complex example using OAuth 2.0.